Free migration? Free migration? Yep. That's right, you do have that option in Rock. Now, if you haven't logged in for 14 days and even pops up, that's called King's Return. And you go through all the menu options and towards the end, you get a free migration option. Now, let's find out all the conditions that comes with it. button and see what happens all right so when we click on immigrate this menu option comes up where if you look at the conditions it's not actually saying anything about your power or how many days you played or your city hall level or anything it just says there are certain commanders that you can't take certain equipment that you can't use but then in terms of the immigration rules it didn't say anything about your power level and so on now let's look at our passports see i got nothing that's a kingdom map not a passport now without any passport that menu was willing me let me do a migration wow now That's looking amazing. at pretty much looking at the event rules as you can see it does say that it's a free migration it doesn't say anything about what's your city hall level or your power level had to be the only thing is you can't choose which kingdom you're going to go to did you talk to support yes i did as you can see i talked to vip support and i asked all the questions i needed to ask and you can see their answer as well it doesn't say anything about city hall level or your power or anything as such and in the end they're giving me some good advice as well now i'll show you if i'm trying to click on the migrate button myself i can't and when i'm looking at the off season kingdom list let's find one where we potentially can migrate to and that's not a good choice that's immigration limited okay so we're in off season let's try to find out there yep that's one of them now if i want to migrate to this kingdom i can't because it's asking for a passport but then if i was going through that menu it was allowing me it just did, didn't have condition one and two that we have here now let's talk about how to get passports so there are a few ways you can get it from alliance shop and you can get in from bundles now let's have a look at the bundles you can buy the new world bundles where it's quite costly and the more you spend on this bundle per passport it get more expensive so that's not really a good way now let's look at the alliance shop using alliance credit that you get from alliance participating in alliance buildings or arc of osiris you can buy these passports now i have alliance credit but there's not enough passports now there is now let's see how many we can buy so i think i can buy three uh, or five actually sorry let's buy five now i have enough passports so this is how you get to have passports if you didn't and when trying to migrate you need to go to your storehouse and it'll tell you how much resources you can take with you now there's a feature where you can delete the resources but it's always better to give the resources to one of your kingdom mates now if you didn't have the free option this is how much passports would cost based on your power thanks to abused panda now this is my account if i wanted to lower powers one other way is i can delete troops so that i can meet the power requirements based on how many passports i have now how do you delete troops you go into a building you select how many you want to delete and then obviously we don't need to because our power is too low in this account and if we wanted to we could have deleted whatever i think i'm just gonna stick with one right let's say just one no 619 m okay well you did it oh <laughs> I, I sorry no you didn't that's all right yeah i'll just one do troop. one yeah let's yeah, just one do one good. now that's deleted anyways that was just to show now we actually want to go to kingdom 1002 and we want to go there be so that we can get access to new events now i can't why can i not because when you're trying to migrate it'll actually tell you what conditions do you need to meet generally speaking the kingdom has to be not in lost kingdom in off season and your power has to be lower than the immigration power cap and sometimes if the kingdom is imperium like 1947 then you can't unless you're lower than 35 million power also you can only migrate to lower or same seasons of kvk you can't go forward